Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Ilsung, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I generate and verify an encryption key in an HSM on Google Cloud Platform? So the first thing that we'll do is that we'll go and create a key in Cloud HSM. And I want to demonstrate to you how easy this truly is. So once you create your key ring and select a region, you go to, this, you go to create key up there, and then you'll be faced with a UI that tells you what to do. Now, here's a key part. The only thing you have to do is change the, the protection level from software to HSM, and that's it. And from that point forward, the, the key will be in HSM, and the system will take care of the creation for you. So let's just create a key. Let's call it demo key two, because I've already created demo key one. And you get different options around what kind of key. Let's do an asymmetric signing. And then you also have different types of algorithms that you can choose. In this case, we'll do something, uh, we'll use elliptic curve P256. Okay, and then we're gonna generate it. We, we can also import it if we like, and that's it. And so once I hit create, the key's been created. So now that we've created our key, I'm gonna show you how you can download the attestation and the attestation is essentially uh, a signed statement that's verified by both Google and the HSM vendor that, that indicates that the key was created inside the HSM and that it has certain properties. So in order to do that, all you have to do is go and click on the hamburger button and click Get Attestation, and then hit Download. Okay. Now, once that key is downloaded, we can actually go and run some scripts that will actually do the parsing for you. Or you can do it yourself, but we provide scripts that you can get through our documentation that make it a lot easier. To do this, I'm going to go and activate Cloud Shell. And once Cloud Shell starts, now that I've downloaded the file, let's upload the file to G Cloud so that we can actually do some cool things with it. The first thing that we want to do is that we want to validate the signature of the file to make sure that it's valid. And so in this case, I'm going to validate using the Cavium certificate chain to indicate that Cavium is signed and tested to the contents of the file itself. And so as you can see, the signature is verified, which means that it's a valid file and everything in there should be taken as something that Cavium is vouched for. Now I'm going to actually parse the contents of the file. And again, there are scripts available online that you can actually download to do this. And so now the part file is parsed. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to check the key ID that's indicated in the attestation file to make sure it matches the key ID that we expect. So to do that, I'm just gonna set up, set up a local variable to represent the key. Then I'm going to use a simple command to compare the contents of the, the hash of the key ID that's in that attestation file with what we expect. And as you can see from the output, the two hashes match. So we know that the key that we think we're talking about is actually the key that's indicated in the attestation file itself. Now that we're sure we're talking about the right key, let's actually use this to actually in check for certain attributes of the key to validate and make ourselves feel good about the fact that the key has certain properties. First of all, let's check to make sure that the key is not exportable. In order to do this, you need to understand a little bit about PKCS11, but not too much. So there's a key, key property that's indicated by the hex 0162, which indicates that the key is exportable. And so as you can see here, there's two outputs. One says yes and one says no. And that's to indicate the fact that there's one public key and one private key. The public key is obviously exportable and the private key is not. The next thing you can do is that you can check to make sure that the key that you created is the same kind of key that the HSM believes it created. In order to do so, you will look up property hex 0100. And again, this is something that's listed in the PKCS11 standard. And it comes back with a value of hex 03. Now, if you look that up, you would know that this is an elliptic curve key. So it is the type of key that we specified when we generate the key in the first place. Next, we're gonna look for the property that tells us whether the key was generated locally. In other words, whether it was imported or not. And so if you grab for hex 0163, you'll see that it says 01, which means that both the keys were generated locally within the HSMs and they were not imported. There are other things that you can do with the, with the attestations. So in that station, there's also SHA-256 hash of the public key itself 
So if you were to download the, the public key from the UI or from the command line, you should be able to actually take a two, SHA-256 hash of it, compare it against the one that's in the attestation file, and match them. If they match, then you now have strong cryptographic evidence that you're talking about the same key that's in the attestation file. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts. Mm -hmm.